As the cryptocurrency markets bounce back, Caspa has been performing extremely well, as you can see here, up over 6% over the last one day. The markets have bounced back. Caspa never really had that big dip that some of the other altcoins had. And with a lot going on in the ecosystem, like the KRC20 token standard going live, albeit with some issues, we'll go over all of those. We're also going to talk about a couple of really good, interesting uh, Caspa charts and why I think 22 cents over the next five to seven days is imminent. The first Caspa chart I've been looking at is this Caspa versus BTC. And we'll go over the Caspa USDT chart towards the end of the video, talking about some of the price targets. But Caspa against Bitcoin, although we've been making lower highs, as you can see here on the daily chart, right? This was a high we had, and then this we put in a lower high, and then we put in a lower high yet again. But things are looking pretty good because there is a pattern. If you watch our show, you know I love bull flags. This is a classic traditional bull flag pattern here. We have a massive price appreciation and then a downtrending channel. And this thing typically does break to the upside. Uh, now, of course, this is Caspa against Bitcoin. And so you would need a little bit of help from Bitcoin. Unless Caspa just goes on this massive tear, uh, which we've seen it do. It pretty much went from nothing to almost 20 cents with no utility, no KRC20. That is all changed. What are some price levels for uh, for Caspa updated for this year? We'll take a look at those as well. But the big uh, the big news here, the big piece of news, is the KRC20 token standard going live. So up until around July 1st, there's really nothing you can do on Caspa when it involves smart contracts. So no meme coins, no NFTs. Uh, that is all changed. Uh, Compliments of Casplex. So open beta of Casplex on Mainnet is now live. This was posted on June 30th. Uh, this is a monumental step towards creating a diverse and innovative ecosystem on the Caspa network. Dive in and start testing, exploring new functionalities and providing feedback. Uh, talks about your participation is crucial. And of course, your experience will help shape the final iteration of the KRC20 token standard. Now, this is something that the community uh, not just people from the Casper community, but the whole cryptocurrency community as a whole has been waiting for is the smart contract functionality on Casper. And this is from CryptoNewsFlash.com. The Casplex open beta uh, latest release resulted in notable increase in genuine network usage. The spike produced a natural stress on the network, therefore extending the confirmation periods of every user. Now, uh, there was a lot of people that had issues with their wallets, that issue with transactions going through. What you guys got to remember is, is there's going to be kinks. These kinks will be worked out if you have full faith in the Caspa team like we do here. We've met them in person. We've interviewed them. Uh, and so uh, definitely not worried at all. It's exciting. You want things to, you want to launch things. You find the issues, you fix them, you move forward. As long as they're fixing the issues and moving forward, which I believe they're 100% doing, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Caspa staff is working closely with the Casplex team to investigate strategies to lighten the network stress. The main attention is on changes to the Casplex wallet to solve transaction bulk bloat. I think this is where a lot of the issue with the community was, was within these wallets. Particularly, one of the wallets utilized for KRC20 minting has been shown to have unduly bloated transaction mass. This is supposed to be transient and will be fixed once the Casplex wallet changes how it generates KRC20 transactions. So it sounds like a workaround is already in place. Again, from Casplex, the launch of the Casplex open beta has been met with incredible enthusiasm, far exceeding our expectations. While the mainnet has, re has remained stable and robust, we've identified some issues with RPC, wallets, centralized exchange integration, and other services such as load balancing and failure to construct transactions according to KIP9. We are currently working together with the community to help those parties resolve the issues uh, to address these challenges, allow enough time for third parties to upgrade, return peace to the mainnet, and ensure a smooth experience for everyone. We have decided to temporarily pause the open beta after the score reached over 83 million. They'll keep you posted. So I'd recommend you go follow this handle here on X at Casplex, and I'll kind of zoom in for you guys. Uh, stay up to date on everything going on, and uh, what are the upgrades? One of the updates going to come in the upgrades, and when can you start using and minting tokens again? And this from Shy, one of the co-creators of the Ghost Dag protocol, uh, had a nice meeting with the Casplex team. Uh, on the agenda was one: some changes to the protocol, 
that should streamline the process, make uh, make for an easier developer and user experience, to a new and improved trust model that will allow new indexers to sync to the KRC network. Uh, three, an application of the new partially signed Caspa transaction uh, functionality introduced into Rusty Caspa to implement atomic swap of tokens. This is going to be pretty big. Number four, the conditions for a healthy launch for the next open beta. We agree that the launch should not be rushed since its smooth operation relies on things that are outside of Casplex's hands. In particular, one, the rusty Caspa team would like to see that most wallets implemented um, and that it is working as advertised. And two, infrastructure work uh, to make sure there are sufficiently many public nodes that provide the RPC services. Uh, and Shai suggested mid-August as a realistic goal for a relaunch, but also recommended against committing to a launch date at this point. Better to do it right than to do it fast. Now, there is, uh, for me personally, from an investment standpoint, there is zero issues with me having an investment in a project and then the project, something something happens or, or part of their plan fails or they don't succeed in the next endeavor they're looking to do. What I'm looking at is, what are they doing? How are they assessing the situation? And what fixes are they deploying to make sure that that doesn't happen again? And it seems like the Caspa team are teaming up with the Casplex team to make sure that the next relaunch of the open beta, which a rough date has been given around August, it's going to go a lot smoother than version one. And again, I have full faith in the team to be able to do so. We take a look at um, what else has the Caspa team been doing? Well, Dubbed the Caspa World Tour in the USA, they have been to many conferences. This is where we met the Caspa team down in Austin, Texas. Uh, just some great people there. They were obviously in Las Vegas for that WDMS event. And on this page here from caspa.org, you can see our one-on-one sit-down interview with the co-author uh, co of the Ghost Act Protocol, Shy. We also did a live show with them here. You can see our studio. But... The team is working hard on the marketing side of it, and we have great people in the community of Caspa that are working hard to make sure functionality is up to par from what the Caspa community has been expecting from a tech side and a user experience side for a very long time. We take a look at real-time data here from KAS.FYI. Uh, current TPS is a little over one, around 1 1.2 with one blocks per second. You can see on the far right here, the live blocks transaction hashes and the DAA score. Now, this is, again, I mentioned in the earlier article, uh, this is the score they kept an eye on when they decided, hey, look, we're going to we're going to take this thing down. We're going to rework it. And so transactions are still going. Uh, Casper's network is still strong, as mentioned earlier. Yet again, nothing wrong with the Casper network, just some bloat on the front end side, which is going to be fixed. Um, and then uh, there's different ways to be able to. Um, to buy Caspa, bridge Caspa, use Caspa. One of the ones that I like to highlight is Houdini Swap. Uh, this one is great because you can go from any network essentially. So it's an atomic swap website, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Avalanche, and you can directly bridge over into Caspa, uh, uses different swap and bridge mechanisms as well, tapping into different liquidity pools to give you the best price to get those Caspa tokens, which you'll need to mint any NFTs or buy meme coins once V2 goes live. Now, I mentioned earlier uh, the Caspa chart. So this is Caspa and the U.S. dollar. So Caspa USDT. Now, on the opposite of Bitcoin, where we were making lower highs, right? This is Caspa versus Bitcoin. Lower high, lower high, lower high. On the dollar chart, we're doing the opposite. We are making higher highs on the Caspa chart outside of this one, which we'll go over that one in a second here. But this indicator we had right here, uh, this was a classic cup and handle on the daily for Caspa as we saw a nice, nice rounded out bottom followed by a downtrending channel. So this is your handle part. See, cup, handle, and then a breakout. Now, the breakout didn't take it to the complete measured move, which if we did see that move uh, finalize and, and really get to where you where you do these measured moves is you go from the top of the cup to the base of the cup, and we'll take the wick included here. And from the breakout of this handle, what we should see is a 22.2 cent Caspa. Uh, now we can see that in the near future. You can see here uh, another kind of mini cup and handle forming here, but we did make a higher high off of the last high, uh, and we're looking to break that higher higher again, which would put us above 19.2 cents. 
If we throw on our Lux Algo price action concepts indicator, we had a pretty bullish signal on the daily chart for Caspa as we saw this massive break of structure. Uh, this is key importance for the chart as far as the structure of the market. And where can we expect the price of Caspa to go? Caspa's got a lot of things going for it. It's got a big community. It's got great technology behind it. Um, and it's got it's got the new uh, new kid on the block narrative, right? The new shiny toy. It's, it hasn't been around for too long. It's really the first cycle that Caspa is going to go through where it's going to have functionality. So excited to see what happens with Caspa. We're still in that 2 to $3 camp all-time high for Caspa. By the end of 2024, though, we definitely believe Caspa has a real good chance of getting to a dollar, potentially around a dollar ten, a dollar fifteen. What is your price prediction for Caspa for the end of year 2024? Let us know in the comment section. Also, we have a playlist of all of our Caspa videos we've done. Make sure to check that out and come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.